America is built on the belief in the person. Before that, it was the belief in in royalty. It was the belief in G dash D. It was it was the belief in the church. America was built on the belief in the person. The person could be successful. The family could be successful. The community could be successful. The individual could be successful. That is the beauty of America. And I think that people need to tap into that again. I think that that has been kind of demolished in the last several years. Hey everyone, this is Cass Contents. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if before we keep going, you give this video a like and tell me something about this video that you learned or that you think in the comments that that would be really, really great. That would really mean a lot to me. Um, yeah. <laughs> If you see, if you saw the title of this video and clicked thinking I'm gonna talk about OnlyFans or something, right? You can exit. <laughs> That's not what I'm gonna go into today. Um, I think that Americans' access to higher education, of course, is an incredible thing. It is a benefit to society, it is a benefit to us as individuals, it is a benefit to companies, blah, 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 blah. But I think that in the last 30 years, the, the, our generation, the generation coming up, Gen Z, being raised with this belief that it's all about the degree it's all about the degree and then getting that job in your field has really hurt people in many ways. As much as it has benefited us, I believe it has really hurt us. Creativity is what built America. Believing that things could be different than the old ways of doing things. And being successful as a country in achieving that. And that is no small feat. That is nothing short of a miracle. The country that is America, what, what, what America created on its own, successful people, people able to rent their own places, own their own homes, have property, have access to goods and services that before that in, in other countries and other systems, th those lives, those lifestyles never would have been achievable. It's a miracle. It's, it's incredible. And that was not born out of higher education. That was not what built America. That is what America. And I'm not trying to just talk about America. I'm not American. I'm Canadian. It's happening here too. But like many people, I feel like I, I have a... Actually, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Um, but... If you don't want to get a degree or if you've gotten your degree and are frustrated that you can't get a job, if you want to look at my video that I did just before this, that might be of help to you. If you're one of the many people struggling for work and with algorithms that are passing you by and getting interviews, I think that we need to look at all of the options we have available to us as individuals in, in our communities that you don't need this job in engineering if you got a degree in engineering necessarily to make money and have a good life and feel successful. Of course, you've spent a lot of money 
on your education. And in the state, sometimes you spend an absolute obscene amount of money on your education. That's another video. But um, you can go and look at other avenues for making money. And that might be a good thing. And that might be an even better thing for you, for myself. The best things that have come to me in my life have been, have come, have been born out of intense pressure, intense feeling that I didn't have options, that I didn't, that I was, that I was, I was being crunched. And in those times, at those times, you know, creativity, creativity came through and, and helped me. I, I never would have in a million years said, oh, I'm going to be someone who makes YouTube videos. Like that was just for other people. That was not for me. That was not, you know, I was going to university or college in the US. I was going to college. I was going to get this degree. I was going to be a speech language pathologist. Started off in early childhood education and was going to go on to be a speech language pathologist wanting to work more so with children probably and that that was it but then intense pressures were applied to me in my life and I thought I have to do something different I have to look at things differently I have to find a solution to these problems that I am facing and so take a step back if you're unhappy take a step back in your life and research the different options that are available to you being a seller on ebay making youtube videos starting a cooking channel on instagram their videos are so beautiful and i'm so jealous because i used to be a cook and my videos will never compare um being an etsy seller going and you know just making crafts and selling them on, on Etsy that is something that I am going to try to do and I am god awful at, at doing crafts I, I can't do them to save my life but I'm determined that I'm going to figure out how to make something and sell it on Etsy or even you know closer to reality I'm going to start doing painting and selling those paintings on Etsy because it's just like you can just pick something. You can just pick something and it doesn't have to take away from your nine to five job, it doesn't have to take away from your life in any way. You can just start painting things and just put them on a place like Etsy and just see if they sell. And if they sell, maybe immediately or maybe over time, they'll sell for a good deal of money. And maybe you will see, you know, if you, if you do a painting every month and try every month to sell it and that painting, you know, you, you end up making for your paintings what you would with your salary or what you would with a week's salary. I mean, that can happen. We have those options available to us and it just is heartbreaking. And again, I have been in the situation where there are so many people that are relying on the job on getting the job to literally feed themselves when there are other options available and they're free or they're very doable. I mean, maybe to start the website, you have to pay a few hundred dollars from the get-go. I myself have done that and put it on my visa. I'm not saying that's what you should do. I'm not advocating for that, but you know, that is something that you could do and start your website and maybe you can start a business by doing that. There are options. There was a woman that I read about recently. It was Shopify. It wasn't Shopify. Maybe it was Etsy. And and so she 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 started oh it was printables. It was printables, escape room printables. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think the first maybe five months she didn't make any money and then she did the back to school stuff and that just that just soared and then 
over a few years, she ended up making just under half a million dollars. And she just, she made these printables online and she said, yes, yes, it was a lot of hours. It wasn't like I snapped my fingers and there it was, but it's a very doable thing that people can take something that they're good at. You know, I cook, I can talk about food, um, or I can just, you know, come on here and talk about a whole bunch of things. There's things that you are good at that you can use or you can do crafts or you can paint or you can and, and you can sell those things there are things that you can do that you are good at or that you can learn that can be of benefit to you that can maybe just pay your bills which in and of itself is a very good thing or it can grow your lifestyle into something where you feel comfortable where right now you do not right now you're working two or three jobs just to pay your bills and you can alleviate some of that stress by doing something online or even my eyes have been open to something you know more old school things that you don't realize make good money but they do you don't realize make livable incomes but they do is Nate O'Brien was talking about snow plowing snow plowing and mowing lawns and then I looked into it and people who go and um, plow people's driveways in, in the winter. Like, I think it's, it's $500 a month that they're charging people or something. Don't quote me on the exact, but, but it was a fair bit. It was, you know, an amount that I, I never would have dreamed of. I think about, you know, kids and they go and shovel someone's driveway and someone pays them five bucks. I don't know. I've never done it. And it's been a long time since I had even thought about it. But in my mind, that's, you know, the kind of money you'd make doing that but no I mean they make good money like incomes like going and plowing the snow you can think just step back and think differently about your life just think differently about the way you're doing things and and maybe a solution can be found you can find a solution and you can find your way out of the stress and the pressure you are under but by, by just taking a step back. COVID for me was, <laughs> I don't want to say it, not as a thing, it, it, it devastated many people and I'm not taking that lightly and I'm not trying to talk about that. But for me, the time during COVID when I was laid off, having time to just think about my life, to take a step back, to work on my YouTube channel, to do the things that I did was the best thing that could have happened to me. I, I just, I just, it, it's just, it's incredible. But if I had have used that time, which I legitimately could have to just feel the extreme stress I was under, it wouldn't have been the benefit that it was, but I used it as an opportunity to take a step back and look at my whole life and see how I could do things differently and use it as an opportunity to become disciplined in what I was trying to do. Whereas before I was like, oh no, I have to go to do my job and you have a million excuses as to why you can't get things done. So just, if you're looking for a bright light <laughs> and answer, to your problems maybe those solutions are in yourself you just have to have the encouragement have the motivation have the drive to just stop for a minute and 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 take a look at things honestly take a breath learn to meditate and uh, find find that relief is there thank you everyone so much for watching this is cast contents I still have this cough and I'm trying so hard not to cough right now in the video. <laughs> so I'm going to see you soon. I'd love it if you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you are interested and I'd love to know how you feel about this, what I've talked about in the comments. Okay, I have to go.